All right, welcome back. Welcome back to LCS TV Plus. And today I'm going to teach you how to stake your Poke Dot onto the Ledger Live software. If you like the sign of that video, make sure y'all smash the subscribe button, turn on the bell's notification. Also, leave me a like for the support. I know everybody's been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this because I was trying to figure out how to stake my Poke Dot through the original subtotal wallet. Also, guys, if you haven't got your Ledger Nano X, I do got a referral link in the description section below. Definitely check that out. You'll support my channel and I can keep supporting you bringing out dope tutorial content content so let's get into it all right so what you want to do is head over to ledger live make sure the firmware is up to date on your ledger nano s x and the software itself make sure it's updated what you want to do is head over to manager now i'm working with the ledger nano s here uh, this is more like a tutorial standpoint device so this is the same stepping process with the ledger nano x so this nano s is empty so what we're going to do is add the polka dot application on here now just remember uh with the s you might have to install one or two applications because polka dot has a bigger capacity size so definitely do that so we're going to go ahead and add it so we actually installing the polka dot application right now and as you see the capacity size is large so make sure that you might have to uninstall two applications just to get this on here all right so now we got the polka dot application installed onto the nano s so we're going to go to manage my account and as you see it jumps straight into add account so it already got polka dot set for us we're going to hit continue then we're going to open the polka dot application on your nano s it says polka dot ready so create an account so we're going to hit add account and as you see we actually got our polka dot wallet right here in our account section what we're going to do is just click on this now we're going to receive our polka dot so all we have to do is just hit receive then we're going to choose polka dot so we're going to verify our recipient address on here on the device approve and then we're going to re-verify it so i can copy this and also you have the qr code option so if you don't like doing this process you want to just scan it from a different application you can all right so i'm on my qcoin account so i'm about to send some polka dot over to the ledger nano s you want to make sure that you start off with a small amount so you don't risk a lot of capital heading into this unknown address right you want to make sure that address is verified it's working making sure that your funds get stored safely all right so i received my polka dot on my ledger nano s and what we're going to do is go to earn rewards and then what we're going to do is bond our assets you want to bond our dots i'm going to put three out of two so bonding is kind of like transferring over to like a uh, staking wallet what you want to do is confirm the controller on your ledger nano s so i'm about to bond three polka dot all right, so I bonded my assets here. All right, so after waiting for a moment, you notice that I have three dots bonded right here, and then I have 2.6 that's available in my wallet. So what I'm gonna do is head over to this button called Nominate. All right, so now we're going to nominate a validator. And what you want to do, this is probably the process that is kind of confusing for a lot of people. So what you want to do is go to polkadot.js.org. Then you want to go to network and go to staking. So the validator that I'm choosing to stake my dot through is P2P validator. So it's a secure non-custodial staking service. Uh, they not only stake in Polkadot, but they have a lot more skin in the game. So this is pretty much one of the highly suggested ones. And it's got most uh, connected links of services on the Polkadot system. I try to find the most capital of dot that they have on stake uh so this one has twenty seven thousand and thirty seven of it so that's a lot of capital so you want to go for these because they're putting their funds in risk too and if we go to the chart over here so taking a look at their chart so their error points of doing good tasks for the network is pretty good and consolidating and as you see the rewards are kind of similar these are pretty much the payout i'm guessing and dot and then on the bottom here they have zero slashes which is good like i said they have more capital so they put in their funds in risk to the commission side they only taken three percent so that's pretty good so i'm going to go with their validator so i'm going to type in p2p and then scroll down here and i'm going to look for number three so this one got 113 nominators and hit continue so after that you want to nominate it all right so i successfully nominated validators so i can go to the view details here and um it only charged me 52 cents out of dot and as you see with the validator p2p.org3 and then you can just view the explorer and all right so this is set so after that you give it some time like up to 24 hours to the network to do its thing and then you'll start earning rewards and that's pretty much it um if you enjoyed this video make sure y'all smash the subscribe button turn on bells notifications also leave me a like for the support this is oliver and i'm signing out